Okay, so again, I don't know anything about these pyramids, but I'm going to just show you something. Now you're going to read the temperature gradients here. Now this is half and half, okay? This is the condenser. And here's your heat exchanger. And here's your king's chamber. This would be right here, the analog analogous to the Ark of the Covenant. This pressure tank here is a condenser in the pyramid, and it's a essentially a pressure tank because it pressurizes this. Now imagine this concrete vault here isn't just a concrete vault, but all of this is put inside this, and this whole pyramid is a giant transistor using solid state physics. You're just gain you're using the entropy to your advantage because in mechanical energy, we are losing so much in heat. Okay, there's so much heat loss, it's ridiculous. It's just like a car. You get 18 cents per dollar that you put in your car. That's how much gas you actually get. The rest of it's lost in heat. So instead of putting it all in just a big old concrete vault, you put it in a solid state transistor, which is the whole body of this pyramid. So here's your antechamber. It's right here. Here's your king's chamber, which is this guy right here. The whole nuclear room. And in this one, it's half and half here. So these two rooms are combined, kind of like how they connect right here at a junction, okay? In this, they're combined. Of course, then you have the Grand Gallery. Now imagine this right here has radium in it right here, and this is your P-type and N-type material for solid state. And that's basically the nuclear room. It's a small reactor or fission reactor. But it doesn't use tons and tons like we do. See, in the nuclear rods, you have uranium. And basically all a nuclear reactor is is a galvanized cell. Instead of just using two different metals, they're using a metal and then they're using nuclear fuel. And of course it gets hot because it's basically like a short circuit. And the other two pyramids were technically condensers for the water to keep it cool and actually absorbed electrokinetic effect of water. The electrokinetic movement, essentially, it creates current. And these help utilize that. Basically types of transistors. And of course it recondenses all of that hot steam back into cool water that can be refed into the system that can be turned into steam. So again, it has a circular process because the water process is a circular process and it's very essential that we can utilize all portions of it in this aspect the liquid and the vapor now if there was freon hooked up to it we could use the ice part too but in this aspect there's no freon now look at this fuel rod doesn't it look like a staff i mean they're nuclear rods but aaron's rods were kept in the ark of the covenant and an ark is plasma so even moses staff had properties to it I mean, I hate to throw that kind of stuff out there, but history does repeat itself. And we've been intelligent for thousands and thousands of years. We're an ancient species. I mean, we may be one of the newest species on Earth, if not the newest, but we're still pretty freaking ancient.